Hey YouTube, X Story here, and today we are going to be doing a dungeon gold farm. So we are going to be doing Alderman, and we're going to be doing a one-hour loot appraiser challenge with a couple of subscribers. Uh, if you ever want to join us, just um, you know, be my real ID friend. I usually post that I'm going to be doing a loot appraiser challenge soon, and we'll go from there. Hope to start streaming soon. So to get to Alderman, uh, you want to the best way is to take the portal from Orgrimmar uh, to the Twilight Highlands for Horde, and then fly across. If your alliance, obviously Ironforge is quite close, you can just fly across from there. And that, we're going to do this for an hour and come back to the results. There's quite a few very rare pieces. I'll leave them down in the description below so you can check them out. Some are worth like ridiculous amounts of gold, like 500k. But yeah, enjoy guys. We'll be back soon. One hour later. And we're back after an hour. Uh, as you can see, we had some fairly mixed results. Um, this farm is really reliant on RNG. So there are some really good BOE blues that will instantly make the run, you know, two, 300k gold an hour if you get one. Um, we got a few BOE blues, but nothing too outstanding. Uh, the highest there is 14k, um, which I got. Uh, unfortunately, Monk Noodle got no blues, so he's down the bottom again. Um, there's lots of these patterns with boots, you get them every run basically if you're doing the little side boss. They're basically not worth anything, I'll probably end up vendoring them. Um, I'll send one to my leather work, I don't think I have the pattern yet. But you can see I've sold them for like 66 gold before, and then 21 silver before, so like just three times vendor price. So it's just, it's up to you what you want to do with them, I'm probably just going to vendor them. Um, got a couple of patterns, some around the you know 500 gold mark, 800 gold. But most importantly is BOE Blues, uh, this one's you know 5400 regional market. Uh, Bought up pretty much 15k regional and around 2.4k. Uh, in total, I got 24k in the BOEs, about 4k in the patterns, and about 2k in the cloth and gems. I did get a lot of BOE greens, and I probably should have disenchanted them, but I ended up just um, selling them to a vendor. I did uh, decide to keep this one as it's around 1800 regional market. Anything under a thousand, I usually disenchant or vendor because it just takes too much time to sell it. I usually just keep items over a thousand. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth a farm. If you're feeling a bit lucky with RNG, you know, definitely check this out because all it takes is like a miner's cap or the shoveler or something like that. And, you know, you, you're going to make some pretty decent money, you know, upwards of 40, 50k. There is also an item I think that sells around a million gold. But yeah, check the description below. I'll have all the rare BOE blues uh, in the description with links to them. But yeah, good luck, guys, and let me know how you go. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to see how you can win a Wild Token giveaway. And thanks again to Revan and Monk Noodle for coming along. And um, yeah, if you guys ever want to join me, just add me on uh, Battle.net. And um, yeah, I send out a broadcast every time. Hey guys, monthly Wild Token giveaway time. For your chance to win for the month of September, head across to my Azura Wellbling Gold Farm Guide. Like and subscribe, and make sure you leave a comment. A random comment will be selected on the 1st of October. Good luck everyone that enters. Thanks for subscribing.